What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Player Profiles in honor of the St. John Sea Dogs going up 8 0. Excuse me, winning their first eight postseason games, uh, sweeping both the first and second round. Um, today, we're focusing on uh, Thomas Yurko, right winger for the Sea Dogs from uh, Kosai, Slovakia. Uh, big kid at 6'2 and 195 pounds. Um, got drafted in the second round last year, 35th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, last year at 56 points in 60 games. This year improved upon those numbers with uh, 68 points in 48 games. And in the playoffs, has been money. Um, you know, 17 points through eight games. You know, he's been a big part of their success. You know, their top six forwards are unparalleled and could rival most minor league teams' top six forwards. You know, I'm looking at he's fourth on the team of scoring. He's averaging over two points a game. So, I mean, that that's all you need to know. You know, behind um, Zach Phillips, Charlie Coyle, and uh, Stanislav Galiev. I mean, he's ahead of Huberto in scoring, which. You know, Huber has 14 points in eight games, and he, uh, that, you know, it's disappointing for him. Um, you know, known for highlight rail shootout goals, he's uh, really emerged just, you know, beyond that. He, uh, you know, goes to the front of the net, and, uh, you know, he's a good mixture of grit and tenacity with sniping ability. Uh, you know, he can shoot, he's got a good shot, but he, he's not afraid to go to the front of the net, which is something that you, you need to see from players on a more consistent basis, and he has that that knack to, uh, you know, hang around the front of the net and maybe put one in here and there, but then step outside and be able to beat you with a wrist shot or a snap shot. And, uh, you know, that's something you, you got to see. You know, being a, a true sniper is, um, you know, a rare thing. And, you know, Detroit drafted him pretty high. Um, where does he fit long-term in Detroit's thing? He's 92, so he can go to the AHL next year. Um, I think some time in Grand Rapids is what he needs for uh, his development as a player. Um, you know, Detroit obviously has one of the most veteran teams in the league, pro, you know, year in and year out. Expects to be for the Stanley Cup as well. Um, you know, they don't just throw kids into the lineup. You know, he's going to have to earn his time in the AHL. But once he puts it all together in Grand Rapids, you're looking at a guy that can play in the second line. Probably be a 30 goal guy for you. I think he has that kind of upside. He's got games. He's got you know pretty good speed. And he's offensive creativity. You know he, um, you know consistency is kind of an issue, but that's an issue with a lot of young players. You know having the grasps of, um, you know enduring the rigors of playing hockey on a full time basis. You know that he'll be fine. That, that that's probably the least thing to worry about. Uh, he's got a good work ethic, and uh, you know be challenging for Ross spot in Detroit down the line. I think down the line it's the key. Um, phrase you know he's not there yet but he will be in due time so um that's all i got kind of a short episode and whatnot big shout outs as usual guys at station nation blog hell of a job during this uh postseason run for the sea dogs thanks for the support and um keep in touch so that's it this episode of the power players dj player profiles on st john's C pl prospect profiles on uh detroit red wings prospect and current st john's sea dog thomas yerko stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season later guys